powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith Manoguera, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's Word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. Faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Owen. God, you're welcome to life changing experience. And as we pray and prophesy to our day, God wants us to experience supernatural shift. And supernatural shift comes by responding to God's word. Whenever God wants to bring a shift into people's lives, He brings forth His word to them. And he expects them to respond to the word. Our response to God's word will determine our encounter. Our response to God's word. One of the ways that God visits his people is through his word. Because his word contains his ability. If you truly want to understand the nature of God, we understand his nature by his word. His word is the proof of who he is. That was why he said he magnifies his word above his name. Today as we share on supernatural encounter by the word, we can have a supernatural experience. A kind of experience, the kind of experience that can move us into greater possibility this experience come by our response to his spoken word. When God wanted to change the life of Abraham, all he did was to give him a word. In Genesis chapter 12, the word of the Lord came to Abraham. I'd like us to look at that scripture. What did I'm teaching on super natural encounter by the word? It is by God's word. We have supernatural encounter that can change our life and empower our dreams. In Genesis 12, verse 1, he said, Now the Lord has said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country. He said, He gave him a prophetic word. This is the foundation of his transformation. He said, Get thee with God. As we continue to share on supernatural encounter by the word, Abraham's future was directly related to his obedience to what God has spoken to him. If you want to experience supernatural encounter, you need to make God's word your ultimate focus. We encounter his presence by his word. We also encounter his will by his word. We, we also step into his purpose by his word. All that God will do, he will do through his word. So in Genesis chapter 12, we saw here that now the Lord said unto Abraham, get thee out of thy country. His future was connected to responding to God. And this is what happens to us as saints, as believers in Christ Jesus. Is when we choose the way of the spirit above the way of the flesh. Magnifying the ways of the spirit is the key to effective living. I cannot truly or you cannot truly live an effective life when you don't yield to the way of the spirit. And the way of the Spirit is rooted in the knowledge of the will of God. The way of the Spirit. 
is rooted in the knowledge of the will of God. There are a lot of people that are praying, Oh God, I want to encounter you. God, give me a fresh encounter. God, give me a fresh visitation. That encounter you're looking for, sometimes is not something you can feel, but it's something you can receive. And how do we receive it? We receive it by the word of God. Will receive the encounter by the word of God. Now, in Mark chapter 5, from verse 25 to 35, we read the account of the woman of issue of blood. And it has it started this way. And the Bible said that she was going through a lot of challenges with her heart, and she was going from place to place to get solution. But the more she spent money, not that problem was not solved. But she heard about Jesus. That is how the encounter started. The encounter started with hearing about Jesus. The scripture said, faith cometh by hearing. So what she heard produced a supernatural encounter in her spirit. And then she said, if I can touch, I'll be made whole. Now, in the natural, no one can say that except they have the revelation of God's word. The revelation of the word of God prepares us to encounter the purpose of God. Prepares us to have an experience that would change our lives. This is how you change your life. This is how you, make, you go forward. This is how you take the lead this is how you become all you want to be. So when that word came to him, this is all she needed to be healed. This is what she needed to get out of that pain. It is the word of God. A lot of people are looking for the spectacular. They are looking for all kinds of things that is not in line with God's word. If you choose the word of God, as your foundation for doing things, you will experience supernatural help. You know, the, the, the scripture said it's not of him that will it or of him that run it. It said it is of God who showeth mercy. And one of the ways you can experience the mercy of God is by his word. It is, it is by his word we can experience mercy, we can experience increase, we can experience healing, we can experience the miraculous. It is by his word. The scripture said, by strength shall no man prevail. There is a limit to what your strength can do, but there is no limit to what the revelation of God's word released into your spirit can do. There is no limit to what the revelation of the will of God can do through you, can do through your ministry, can do through your business. So, when God spoke to Abraham, that word was his encounter. That was that word that he received produced the God kind of conviction that helped him to move in the direction of the will of God. There are a lot of people who wants to experience the anointing, who wants to experience the healing, who wants to experience deliverance. But all of those things will come by the word of God. All of those things you want to experience, you want to manifest in your life will come by the word of God. And, it, and when that word came to Abraham, it, it exonerated him from limitation. It exonerated him from a life of pain and shame. Now he has a direction. Now he knows what is expected of him. Now he knows where his journey has started. Now he knows where he's going to. Now he could see the future. Would we'll see the future by the word of God. The future is in the word of God. So if you want to know what your future will be, if you want to know how your life is going to turn out to be, then you have to go back into the revelation that God has revealed to you. Uh, listen to this. Whenever God reveals his word to you, he wants you to be responsible for acting on that word.
Whenever God reveals his word to you, he wants you to be responsible to act on that word. Because if we're not responsible to act on that word, it will be difficult for us to experience the benefit that the word of God is expected to produce in our life. And this is where a lot of people lose focus, lose direction. Maybe they felt, oh, I needed something more spectacular. I needed to hear a voice, you know, the, you know, a loud voice, my son, my daughter, I need a dream, I need a vision. And a lot of people actually want to build their life on dreams and vision. It's good. God speaks through dream and vision. But the best way you can receive from God is when you're led by His Spirit. When you're led by His Spirit, when you allow His Word to become your direction. This is one of the ways you have supernatural encounter. You have supernatural encounter. Encounters were meant to transport you into greater height. Supernatural encounters are meant to transport you into greater height. So you cannot truly come into greater height in the things of the Spirit without having encountered through the Word of God. Now, all the encounters you can see in the Scriptures, 80% to 90% of all the supernatural encounters started with the Word of God. If you look at Ezekiel 37, that was a very prophetic experience. In Ezekiel 37, the Word of the Lord came to the prophet and said, Can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, that no way. Then he said, Prophesy to these bones. To prophesy means to speak for the Word of God. It's an inspired Word of God. Prophecy is an inspired utterance. He said, prophesy. And Ezekiel said, I prophesy as I was commanded. You see, that prophetic experience produced a supernatural encounter that transported Ezekiel to another dimension into the things of the Spirit. Now he can speak to the valley, to the Bibles. Before he never knew, he can speak to the, to the dry bones before he never knew that he can have a victory in that situation. Before he never knew that. But when that prophetic word came forth, it produced a supernatural encounter in his spirit that produced conviction for declaration. This is what you need to understand. Whenever God wants to change your life, he gives you an encounter with his word. In Psalm 107 verse 20, he said he sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. If there is one revival I saw coming to the body of Christ, it is word revival. The word of God coming back to the church. People coming to trust the word of God. Not trusting this one. Not trusting that. But standing on the word of God. This is the kind of revival I saw coming. The kind of revival I saw coming is where people will magnify the word of God over rituals. They will magnify the word of God over tradition of men. They will magnify the word of God over traditional teachings. They are not consistent with the finished work of Jesus. This is the revival I saw coming to the body of Christ. It is a word revival where people will get back into listening to God's word, running with the word of God, because this is the source of supernatural encounter. The word of God is the source of supernatural encounter. So you cannot truly be transported into greater realm in the things of the spirit without having the revelation of the will of God be made manifest to you. The revelation of God's will contains the ability of God that helps to reposition us mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So when I have the revelation of his will, my faith will proceed to another dimension. You know, this is why you could see some people, they could do things and others couldn't do it. And they never knew that these things were product of supernatural encounter that was born out of the word of God. These are products of supernatural encounter that was born out of the word of God. Joseph did not succeed in Egypt because he had a dream. Joseph succeeded in Egypt because of the supernatural encounters he had with God. There were the dealings of God going on in the spirit of Joseph. There were things God was revealing to him. There were insights that were God dropped in his spirit. There were things God showed to him. So he was able to manage that economy. He was able to do outstanding things. Let me say this to you. The supernatural is not only in the area of healing. 
and miracles. The supernatural is also in the area of wisdom. The wisdom to act right. The wisdom to act according to the purpose of God. When we talk about supernatural encounter, it's not only limited to healing miracles. Uh, it's also directly related to your ability to tap into the wisdom of God and have the flow of God's wisdom in your decision making, in your job, in your career, in your relationship, knowing what to say, knowing how to say it. These are product of supernatural encounter. So when we talk about supernatural encounter, it's not limited to only miracles, signs, and that's what the average Christian will understand or average church people will understand that supernatural encounter is when you have miracles. Supernatural encounter is actually a visitation from God that brings a shift I said the supernatural encounter is a visitation from God that brings a shift. And this shift connects you with the new things that God is doing. It brings you into a new realm of greater things of the Spirit. And suddenly, you are able to step into a realm that others couldn't step into. You are able to do things that others couldn't do. So supernatural encounters are supernatural resources for ministry. For business, so encounters. Why would God give you an encounter? Why would you encounter God after five years of being a Christian? After ten years of being a Christian, there is a need for fresh encounter. There is a need for fresh visitation of the things of the Spirit. When people don't have fresh visitations, fresh encounters, fresh manifestation of God's presence, sometimes they get bored, sometimes they get tired. To worship becomes something that is very challenging to even read the Bible. Some people can't even read the Bible. Some people right now cannot read the Bible. Even when the Bible is on their phone, they cannot read the Bible. Some people cannot meditate on God's word. Some people can't even fast. Some people have lost their passion for spiritual growth. Some people can't even go to church anymore. Some people cannot even worship anymore. Some people cannot even do evangelism anymore. Some people are not even connected to any ministry that is teaching the word of God. So encounters refresh us for greater works. Of the spirit encounters visitation and this is important for your faith operation so if your faith is going to be effective there is a need for you to be hungry for fresh visitations of the spirit fresh manifestation fresh release of the spirit he said Psalm 19 verse 2 said uh, that day unto day that God uttereth speech. That day unto day God uttereth speech in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. He said the part of the just is a shining light. It, it keeps shining like that. Better and better unto a perfect day. These are proof that there is a progression in revelation. There is a progression in God's presence. You know, the presence of God is not static. I want to say this, the presence of God is not static. There is, there is a, a new dimension to his presence. You know, everybody is not walking at the degree, at the same degree of God's presence. There are people who have more manifestation of the presence of God. They have more tangibility of his presence. There are people who have more result of his presence. It's not everybody. Some people have been born again, but they cannot truly have an experience of the presence of God, even when they live in the presence of God, because they have not developed their faith to make the connection to have the experience of his presence be made manifest. We all live in the presence of God. The day you got born again, you're living in the presence of God, but the manifest presence of God is a product of intimacy with his word. It's a product of intimacy with the word of God because as we become more intimate with the word, we're going to begin to have manifestation, visitation, the release of his glory. The glory of God can be in a place but never manifest. The glory of God can be in a place but never manifest. Why did I say that? The scripture established, it said in Colossians 1.27, a portion of it is said, Christ in you, the hope of glory. So Christ can be in you, but there is no glory around you. There is no healing around you because you don't know how to activate it. You don't know how to be conscious that I'm carrying the glory of God. You are, you, the mentality has not been developed. We need to develop what is called the glory mentality. That we need to be conscious that I am carrying the glory of God. And for that reason, I can see the power of God. Whether it's in business, whether it's in ministry, whether that is in my job. I can see the power of God because Christ dwells in me. But when we lack the revelation of the Christ in us being the source of the true glory, we'll be expecting that the glory of God is one thing that have to fall down from the sky. One thing, no, it is more than something falling down from the sky. The source of glory dwells in us. 
The source of glory dwells in us. And this is why as we pray in the spirit, as we fellowship with God's word, we begin to have what is called manifestation. Manifestation is a product of faith in the word of God. As we have faith in God's word, we start seeing manifestation. Manifestation of healing, manifestation of deliverance. Things begin to happen. And unknown to most people, they don't know they can have the manifestations. They think it's only preachers, only the apostles, only the prophet. No, when you're born again, you're born into the family of God for the purpose of living by his will. For the purpose of living by his will. God wants us to function by his will. God wants us to think from his will. God wants us to communicate from the knowledge of his will. God wants us to do things in the in the direction of his will. And his will is revealed to us by his word and his spirit. So when we choose the lifestyle of the word of God, the lifestyle of the spirit, we're going to be having supernatural encounter. One of the benefits of supernatural encounter is that it produces boldness. Supernatural encounter produce boldness. There is a kind of boldness that comes upon you as a person when you have supernatural encounter. There's a kind of boldness. You're bold to go. The reason why David could stand before Goliath because there are encounters he has experienced. There are visitations of the Spirit. There are, that was why he said the battle is not mine. He said the battle is the Lord's battle. Because he has gotten some encounter, he, he has this revelation. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. There is someone watching this broadcast right now. And the Holy Ghost is saying, it's time for fresh encounter. It's time for you to grow in the things of the Spirit. It's time for you to pray more. It's time for you to wait upon the Lord. It's time for you to be committed to the kingdom. It's time for you not to allow your need or the situations around you to distract you from your purpose. It's time for you to stay focused on what God is doing and don't allow what you're going through to distract you from what God has called you to do. There is someone watching this broadcast right now and the Spirit of God will have me say this to you. It's time for fresh encounter. Open up your mind to the Holy Ghost. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, he said, be not conformed to this world, but be a transformed by the renewing of your mind. As we renew our mind with God's word, there's going to be a flow as you renew your mind, you, you got to work hard to renew your mind with God's word. You got to work hard to dwell in the word. Colossians 3.16 He said, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. It is a commitment, daily commitment that we got to stay in the word of God as we can be refreshed to flow. If you are not in the word, you become obsolete, you become tired, you, you will not be able to generate the spiritual energy required for your spiritual assignment or the journey that God has called you into. God has invited us to have a great life. God have invited us into his kind of life that we partake, we partake of his nature, we partake of his glory, we partake of his purpose, we partake of his will. This is the key to effective living. Can I say this to you, people of God? It's time for a fresh visitation. It's time for a fresh encounter. It's time for a fresh release of the spirit. It's not going to be church as usual. It's not going to be ministry as usual. It's not going to be business as usual. There, there is a need for the refresh of the spirit that will take you into greater heights. Thank you, Father. Oh, let's pray. Someone need a fresh visitation. You need to get back into the world. You need to get back into praying in the spirit. You need to get back walking by faith. You, you need to keep walking by faith. Come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Fresh release of the spirit, fresh release of the spirit. Holy Ghost, my Supernatural release of the spirit. 
Rikam brada ba 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 mdoro brada da. Rikam dere ba 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 ndoli brada da ba ba ndoli brada da. Mandara ba sho kandoli brada da. Rikam dara ba sho kandali brada da. Fresh encounter, fresh visitation. Makulu ba ba. Rikam ba brada ba sho kandoli brada da. Rikam dora ba sho kandoli brada da ba sho kandoli brada da. I prophesy to you a fresh fire on your spiritual life. A fresh fire. Makulu ba ba. A fresh fire. Maskotori krapa sho kubo ba. Making teli krapa ba ba ba. Mo kandoro ba sho kandali brada da. Mo yaka 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 ba ba. Ba 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 ba, me kundoli blagara. Ma kundoli blagara, re kundoro bo bo so kundoli blagara, re kandara ba so kundoli blagara, ma kandari blagara bo so kundoli blagara. Holy Ghost ma ya kandari blagara ba ba kundoli blagara, re kambara ba so kundoli blagara ba so kundoli blagara. In the name of Jesus, strength, receive supernatural strength to carry out God's God's assignment for your life. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you that today is going to be a stress-free day. All the wisdom required to do what God wants you to do. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And you will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. If you have just prayed with us this morning and hear the word of God, we want to encourage you to keep watching and you will not remain the same. If you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray that prayer with me, it means you're born again. And the Holy Ghost is going to lead you from this day forward. And you will not remain the same. Now, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Faith Man Teaching on YouTube. Faith Man Teaching on YouTube. More than 1,000 videos on YouTube that can help you empower the quality of your life and strengthen you to fulfill destiny. So go to Faith Man Teaching on YouTube and subscribe. There is so much revelation, inspiration to receive. Now, I want to encourage you to keep watching FinishWalkTV.com. FinishWalkTV is 24-7 every day. Bringing God's word to people around the nations of the earth and helping them to stay focused on their purpose in Christ Jesus. So I want to encourage you to keep watching finishworktv.com and also consider partnering with this ministry. It's strategic that we partner as more people could hear this message, who could help more people around the world. You can partner with us today on PayPal, his statement teaching at gmail. Dot com, and also you can send me friends requests on Facebook. It's Faith Man of Weather, and I love it so much. Until my next broadcast, please don't forget this: there is greatness in you.